Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gems and today we are going to be talking about the purple ivory millipede that I got from Tubi's Bugs in a mystery box quite a while ago. And today we're going to actually check up on it and see how it's doing. Well, there we go. So this is the millipede. I love when they curl up in these little balls, it's so cute. So I've kept this millipede in just with coconut fiber, some leaf litter, some moss, and I give it some lettuce to eat because I feel like that's just a good way of feeding it. But recently I've actually discovered a substrate that's actually good for millipedes and I didn't realize this was a thing until now. But big thank you to Incredible Inverts and Other Animals. If it wasn't for him, I would have no idea what the substrate even is. I use it on my sun beetles and it's doing really well so far. And now I'm gonna be trying it with my millipedes. So it's basically a substrate that's basically lots of dead leaves, dead pieces of wood probably, and just all kinds of decaying things that millipedes, beetles, and other things that eat dead leaves and stuff like that will most likely eat. They can basically live off of the substrate, like isopods. And so I'm thinking that's probably more of a better idea than just giving lettuce each time. Though you can add actual other foods to this, not just the substrate itself, you can still add the lettuce if you want to. Uh, you can give apple and stuff like that, so I chose lettuce because it was just easy, in my opinion. But yeah, let's get into today's video. So this is the millipede enclosure that I have currently. Obviously when this millipede gets bigger, it'll get a bigger enclosure. So some say to have the millipede enclosure to be the length of the millipede, where it's extended outwards rather than in a curved ball. And as you can see, this is kind of how the setup that I have so far. So there are dead leaves in here, a uh, substrate, which is coconut fiber. And then also you got some moss in there as well to keep the humidity up because these guys actually do like quite a good bit of humidity, which is great because the substrate that I'm gonna be using in this video actually has a lot of moisture in it, which is amazing. So currently I'm just gonna dig through and find the millipede. Oh, there we go. That was easy. So this is the millipede. Absolutely adorable. I love when they curl up in these little balls. It's so cute. They obviously do this as like a way to show like they're afraid, but also to show that they are not living. So hopefully if you eat alive things that possibly that they could hide away from and you you wouldn't think that this was alive. But yeah, it is. It's it's alive and kicking. And also it kind of looks like a shell, so if you don't eat shells, it knows how to act like a shell. So currently I'm just going to go get the actual substrate while that millipede decides to walk away slightly. I'm going to get the actual substrate for today's video and show you guys it. It's from the spider shop. It works really well so far. It's been a couple of days actually since making this video, but it's been a really good experience with the substrate. If you have uh, anything that needs moisture, good source of moisture, or anything that eats decaying, anything like seriously, this is the best substrate for isopods, millipedes, and also beetles. So as you can see here, this is the container completely cleaned out. Obviously some versions do left because obviously that doesn't really matter. And then obviously the holes, you may think the holes are a bit risky. Yes, they are, but I put the millipede in there without realizing the holes could be an issue. So far, thankfully it has not been an issue, so it has not tried to come out those holes. I don't think it can, so since it hasn't tried, I don't think it has the ability to. And then here we have the actual substrate. I've used it before for my beetles, like I've mentioned, my sun beetles, and it has worked really well for them and their babies. So this stuff is basically just really good. I, I feel it on my hands, I can feel the moisture on my hands. It's not like soaked or anything like that, which is great. Just you can feel the moisture on there. And I'm pretty sure if you squeeze it, it wouldn't rinse out, which is great. So definitely good stuff and you get a good bag full, so. For its money, it's actually pretty worth it, and the millipede is trying to run away again. So yeah, I, I do definitely approve of the substrate. There is on the spider shop a substrate definitely for millipedes, which I discovered afterwards of buying this, but you can still use the beetle substrate for millipedes and isopods still. So I'm just going to add a couple of my own details to it, even though the substrate already has these items, I'm still going to add leaf litter and moss of my own, just to add a bit of detail, and it helps dry out a little bit as well, just because the substrate itself is very moist, so just adding other things that are drier that help with the mix. And there we go. That is 
is an enclosure setup for a millipede. Now, when I received this millipede in the mystery box, it did say unknown species could be purple ivory. So I'm gonna hope and pray that hopefully I do believe it could be purple ivory. If it's not, then okay, then I'll have to do research on what it could be, but I do think it's somewhat of an ivy millipede, so hopefully that does help. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you have a purple ivory yourself and could know specifically on what this one is. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And uh, yeah, that's basically that video all done and dusted. That's basically how simple this could be, a simple substrate change, and it really does help. Like, the entire substrate change does a lot for one little thing. And I don't expect any babies from this because I only have one of them, as you can see. So I don't have to worry about anything being in the substrate besides poop, <laughs> if that's honest. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. So that is the millipede enclosure all done and dusted. It's a pretty simple thing, and it's a very important thing, actually, all at once. So a simple detail can really help a millipede. Now, this is my first millipede that I've ever gotten. I got it from Tubi's Bugs, so a big shout out to them. They're incredible. And uh, yeah, they, they've given me a lot of the stuff behind here, including mantis, beetles, and everything. It's just crazy. So yeah, that's basically today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Please do make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below if you've had any experience with this certain millipede because I'd love to be able to hear any feedback from you guys because obviously, since it's my first time, I want to make sure I get it right. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.